Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see exercise 1.2 of number system of class 9th. Okay, so first one, state whether the following statement is true or false. Justify your answer. Okay, just true or false and check the reason. See first one, every rational number is a real number. So first, real numbers... Real numbers means both rational and irrational, right? So, every rational number is a real number. Every rational number is a real number and every irrational number is a real number. Na? So, that is true, okay? So, justification means collection of rational numbers and irrational numbers are called real numbers, okay? Very simple. Next. Second question. Every point on the number line is of the form root m where m is a natural number. See, on the number line, in the middle of the number line, there is 0 and right side positive numbers, left side negative numbers will be there. Right. See here, every point on the number line is of the form root m where m is a natural number. See here, root 1, root 2, root 3, they are natural numbers. But coming to the negative numbers, these are not natural numbers now. Okay. So clearly, we can say it is as false. Justifications. Negative numbers cannot be expressed in the form of root m. Okay. Third one. Every real number is an irrational number. Okay. So, real numbers, real numbers are nothing but the collection of both rational numbers and irrational numbers. Okay. So, every real number is not an irrational. It may be rational also. Okay. So, that is also false. So, justification, real numbers include both rational and irrational so every real number cannot be irrational example fraction or fractions any fraction you can take so 2 by 5 is a real number but not irrational it may be rational also okay so here it is rational so now exercise 1.2 second problem are the square roots of all positive integers irrational okay all positive integers square roots anni koda irrational outaya ani the question okay see root 1 is equals to 1 root 2 1.414 and so on root 3 1.732 and so on root 4 is equals to root 5 is equals to 2.236 and so on right so here it is a rational number and it is non-terminating, right? So, non-terminating or non-repeating. So, it is irrational and this is also irrational. Again, this is rational and this is irrational. So, see the question. Are the square root of all positive integers irrational? Any positive integers ki square root irrational outunda? No. Sometimes it is irrational and sometimes rational also, right? So, up to here you can write, no, square roots of all positive integers are not irrational, okay? If not, give an example of the square root of a number that is a rational number. So, any example you can write, root 4 and root 4 is equals to 2 root 9, root 16, these are all rational only, no? root 25, any one example you can write, see example, 4 is a positive integer, so root 4 is equals to plus or minus 2 and clearly these two is rational number, okay, it's a very very simple problem, you can write in this way, so exercise 1.2 third problem, show how root 5 can be represented on the number line. 
so you know root 4 is equals to 2 right and root 9 is equals to 3 now we want to represent this root 5 so clearly root 5 lies between 2 and 3 okay you have to get this point root 5 lies between 2 and 3 so on the number line middle 0 will be there right side positive numbers and left side negative numbers will be there so now this 2 means root 4 only right so take this a b as these two units now draw a perpendicular line b c with one unit okay why i am taking these two as one 5 is equals to 2 square plus 1 4 plus 1 5 okay so that's why i am taking so here it is perpendicular by joining it is a right angle triangle so by Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square 2 square plus 1 4 plus 1 5 so this will be root 5 now with this radius we will draw an arc in between 2 and 3 so that particular point where the arc intersect this number line represent root 5 okay so for that i just draw so first same point i wrote here we know that root 4 is equal to 2 and root 9 is equal to 3 so therefore root 5 lies between 2 and 3 so i draw on a number line so i took here equal distance as 1 1 inch okay because it will be very neat to see no problem if you take one centimeter one centimeter gap also okay so now here first two units now i'm taking two units a b two units a b is equals to two units now draw a perpendicular and b c is equals to one unit this is one unit and it is c now join a and c okay so what is this ab length two units ab and bc one so by Pythagoras theorem, this is 2 square plus 1 square, 4. And so this will be root 5. Okay, students. Now with the compass, measure the distance AC. Okay. So with this AC radius and with A as center, draw an arc on the number line. So it intersect. It is nearer to 2 now okay root 2 means 2.236 now so it is very close to 2 so this will be point p if it is point p the point p value is nothing but root 5 on the number line okay so see the steps now first a b is equals to 2 units draw b c is equals to 1 unit and perpendicular to a b so by joining AC, triangle ABC is formed. So this triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. So in right angle triangle ABC, by Pythagoras theorem, hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. Hypotenuse means the side which is opposite to the right angle. So AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. AC square is equal to 2 square plus 1 square. That is 4 plus 1, 5. So AC will is equal to root 5. After transposing this square to RHS, it will be square root. Now, by taking A as center with AC as radius, draw an arc on the number line, which intersect at P. P represents root 5 on the number line. Okay. So P represent root 5 on the number line. So students like this, you can represent root 5 on the number line. 
so students please share this video with your friends and please like this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching